I got into drugs when I was 15 years old. I think I mixed with my friends. That was quite many years back, since I was a secondary one. There are a couple of reasons for me. My case will be because I didn't have a, a nice family. And therefore, the only friends that I can depend on will be, you know, my, my friends. So whatever they do, I will join them. The drugs that I took, I always craving to have that kind of high or I felt bored. The drugs will just appear on my mind. I think drugs changed me totally in a different person. I would do whatever things that I could just to get what I wanted. So I can cheat, I can steal. One incident, I you know, stole my family money just to you know, fit my habit. Some of my friends, now as I think back, right, because of drugs, um, they passed away. You know, I still remember one of my friends who was high on drugs and then rode a motorbike and then accidents happened. It's quite sad like, because he was the age of, you know, not more than 20 for this young man who had aspirations, dreams, but just because of drugs and, you know, his life just no more. I really disappointed my family. I was isolated away from my family. That really hurts me because you know, family was very important to me, but I didn't cherish them. Since I am safe out from these um, drugs, I hope that I could help others who have a similar issue, be more empathetic, because I believe that, you know, through believing in them by sowing hope, somehow these people can have a changed life eventually. Think twice before trying drugs. Because sometimes it could be one moment of pressure. It could lead to you know, a lifetime of bondages. I hope that you know, the youngsters or the teenagers in this society could really you know, give drugs a second thought before they, they take it. So sometimes you may not know that you know, the dreams, the aspiration that you have, can just you know, vanish. My name is Thomas. I'm drug-free 12 years. Yeah.